Hi, this is Greg Johnson with resourcesforlife.com and this is a follow-up video regarding a Dell notebook that got sent in for repair uh, over a month ago and it's been quite a saga so I wanted to conclude the initial video about what had been happening with uh, this follow-up video and basically um, today I have uh, news to report that the, the notebook finally has been returned to the proper location um, and fully repaired but let me rewind a little bit and cover some of what I covered in my previous video. Uh, really what this message is about is, I guess, building customer awareness, letting people know what their expectations should be with regard to um, product repair. Because I think a large uh, part of customer service is simply just letting people know what they can expect. You know, if their expectations are met, they're satisfied, right? So, um, but if you expect one thing and you're given, uh, you know, experiencing something that's much worse, let's say, you're going to be very dissatisfied. Well, anyway, in this situation, I guess the good news was, even though the notebook was way out of warranty, like a year out of warranty, um, in my initial contact with Dell, the technician, for whatever reason, said, you know what, I think we can repair this in warranty. I think the reason was because Dell probably used a, uh, let's say for their motherboard, they might have used Intel or Asus um, parts. And if a product is covered under the original manufacturer's warranty uh, for that part, let's say, for a hard drive or for a motherboard, then even though, uh, let's say in this case, the notebook itself, that warranty might have run out a couple years ago or a year ago, let's say, um, there may be components in, the, in there that are still covered not by the Dell warranty, but by an Intel warranty or Seagate uh, for the hard drive or maybe ATI for a video card component. Okay, so that's basically what was at work here. Um, Dell, you know, graciously agreed to offer free um, uh, maintenance, uh, free labor to replace the hardware that was apparently covered under the uh, original manufacturer's warranty. But because of some sort of communication breakdown, um, this continued for weeks and weeks uh, back and forth with Dell to finally get the work done. Originally, the computer was sent to Dell. They uh, provided a shipping box, which was very nice, prepaid shipping box to Dell from my office. And it went to Dell, they received it, and after a period of time, sent it back. Um, but they sent it back to a totally different address than the one that they'd originally sent the box to and from which the computer was sent. So that was weird. Um, UPS dropped the notebook off in its what was reported to be repaired state, and, um, and it was halfway across town. Fortunately, the person who received the notebook and had signed for it was gracious enough to give it back to the, the UPS driver um, and the notebook wasn't lost. So I finally got UPS to deliver the notebook to the correct address. And um, But upon its inspection it was obvious the thing wouldn't even start up. I mean it was still broken even though they had reported on the paperwork it said it was repaired. So got on the phone again with Dell, uh, waited for another shipping box to be sent, finally, um, you know, and explain to them that they really need to send it back to my address and not some other address. And so, um, anyway, we got that straightened around and Dell said, okay, we're going to get it right this time. So they sent the shipping box. I received it. I put the notebook in the shipping box, sent it off to Dell second time. And a little while later, I got a phone call, uh, a pre-recorded message. You know, it said, your item has reached Dell. We will notify you when it's fixed. So a little more time went by and then an email came in and it said that the item had never reached them and that we should contact the shipper to find out what was going on. So I was thinking, wait a minute, you know, this is a contradiction. On the one hand, I get a message from Dell that says it was received and they'll give us further news as we as they have it. Um, and then I get this email that says it never was received. So then I thought, oh no, it's, it's lost again <laughs> for a second time. Well, that was a few days ago. Fortunately, um, the unit you know did arrive. It finally is repaired. 
Uh, so I'm, I'm really happy about that. But it, it was quite an adventure. Oh, and during the first quote-unquote repair, um, which wasn't really a repair, they gave us a new hard drive. Um, in, in addition to the old hard drive, so we ended up with two hard drives, which was nice of them, but not necessary. I, I think the technician who was doing the repairs didn't realize that we had clearly in writing said, hey, it's the video card, that's what's broken. But um, anyway, I just wanted to follow this up, uh, have this email, or have the video uh, follow up, because, uh, you know, th the story was only half told last time, so I wanted to uh, give you the rest of the story. and. Um, for those of you who had responded to my previous video, I appreciated that. Anyway, if you have any similar stories, let me know. I'd love to uh, hear them and uh, hear any suggestions you have for better consumer experience. Take care.